What is going on guys? How is everybody doing? Now it is absolutely throwing it down with rain here So if you guys can hear rain in the background, that is not my fault But wherever you guys are, I hope it is not as bad as here But yeah, so here we have Miles Morales the Ultimate Spider-Man issue 8 Finally, now I know that on the Marvel website it did say that the release date was the 3rd of December However, uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man comics release once a month like I've already said and if it hasn't been a month since the last issue, then the odds are that the release date isn't a real release date. Because of course, this actually came out yesterday on the 17th of December. But guys, before we get into this issue, I want to announce the giveaway winner for Miles Morales The Ultimate Spider-Man Issue 7. And it is Jerry Aridondo, or Ari I don't know how to pronounce your last name dude, but well done for winning this giveaway. I will have your digital code to you within 24 hours, and you can contact me on my Facebook page by going to the link in the description, or I can just private message you on YouTube uh, within 24 hours, and yeah, so congratulations, I hope you stick around for further giveaways, well, further, what? Uh, future giveaways, and yeah, so to the people that didn't win, don't worry, I've got loads of other giveaways going on right now, so gone over to them and yeah without further ado guys let's get into this issue all right so kicking off this issue actually starts 25 years ago and it's actually jefferson and aaron now in case you don't know who they are jefferson is actually miles morales's dad and aaron is his dad's brother so miles's uncle and uncle aaron was actually the prowler in the ultimate universe until he actually died now, I'm not going to get into any of that, but I also liked how the club at the beginning of the comic there was called 2099. I thought that was a nice touch to the comic. I think that's a bit of a, uh, you know, a bit of a nod to the 2099 Spider-Man. But either way, I thought that was awesome. But yeah, so it kind of looks like that we are being shown Jefferson's secret past, Miles Morales' dad's secret past. What's so strange about him? Was he working for S.H.I.E.L.D.? Was he working for HYDRA? This comic is pretty much going to answer those questions, kind of. But what you see here is Jefferson pretty much about to get beaten up for no reason. And obviously he has some fighting skills because he takes out everybody. And even gets a bottle smashed over his head. And just gets up and launches these two guys over a table and all this crazy stuff. It is awesome. And to be honest, you kind of don't think that Miles' dad is capable of any of this, but of course, this is when he was younger, so maybe... I actually thought when I was reading this comic that maybe he was a mutant, maybe he had powers of his own, and that's why he doesn't like mutants, because uh, Miles' dad isn't too fond of superheroes or mutants or the X-Men or anyone like that. He kind of hates them, but uh, as you can see here, he's about to get arrested for something that he didn't even do. Like, his brother Aaron just left him. So, Jefferson is about to get arrested here and eventually ends up staying in a cell overnight, which is pretty crazy to be honest. I'd hate to, for that to happen to me, honestly. But he actually gets, someone actually bails him out. I know he like messed up my words then, what the hell. S some random guy actually bails him out of jail for no reason. But as you may see here, you may recognize him. He has got that eye patch. And I know, I knew who this was as soon as I saw this guy. His name is Nick Fury. So, yes. This is the young version of Nick Fury, and that's also really interesting as well, because that means that when Miles Morales first became Spider-Man, Nick Fury knew that it was Jefferson's son, and especially because this is Nick Fury actually recruiting Jefferson for a job, and that kind of means that he's recruiting him for S.H.I.E.L.D., which is so freaking awesome. Like, the, like the, isn't that crazy just to have, a in the past, Nick Fury, when he was younger, I don't even know whether he was the head of S.H.I.E.L.D. at this point, but either way, the odds of him actually like knowing Jefferson and then Jefferson's son becoming the new Spider-Man in the future, that is, that is mind-blowing. But either way, Nick Fury has asked Jefferson to basically do whatever this guy says, and he's going back to the club 2099, and he finds his brother there. His brother Aaron is there, even though he left Jefferson to be arrested and all that stuff. Aaron just stayed there, said that the deal was sorted, everything was cool, nothing to worry about, and they actually want to recruit Jefferson because when Jefferson was about to get, you know, attacked, when he was about to get mugged or whatever then, uh, he actually took out every single person, and the boss, the big leader, actually wants to recruit Jefferson for his gang, because obviously Jefferson is a little bit of a, a fighter, he knows how to look after himself, he knows how to strike fear into people's eyes like the Batman, and... 
Yeah, as I was saying, Nick Fury just wants him to keep going on this course, even though he's got to do bad things for this big boss leader or whatever he is, this gang member. Even though he's got to do bad things like beat up people, maybe even kill people, Nick Fury is telling him that he needs to do it to save the world. And that is what's really interesting here because it's actually showing Jefferson doing all these bad things right here. And it kind of shows why Jefferson in the future doesn't want to talk about this with Miles. And it shows why he's kept his past a bit of a secret because he did some serious bad things. It's not like just a walk in the park, is it really? He did some serious stuff. And I love that guy's hair in the background there. It's like a giant rectangle on his head. But nobody knows who this big leader is. And it's quite actually surprised when it's revealed. But basically, S.H.I.E.L.D. needs to take him down. He's going to do something. And Jefferson just needs to figure out what his plan is. And he needs to keep going on this course until the big leader, the big boss, tells him what's going on. But it actually turns out... The massive boss that Jefferson has been working for has been the one and only Kingpin. Now, of course, this is before the Kingpin was the big man of crime. This is when the Kingpin was making a name for himself. This is probably when he first moved to New York, actually. And now we go back to Jefferson and Miles sat on the bench in the present day. And the issue actually ends on quite an interesting ending. Of course, another cliffhanger just like all the Ultimate Spider-Man comics. And it ends with Jefferson saying, are you man enough to hear what's next? Are you man enough to be ready to what's about to come out of Jefferson's mouth? And in my opinion, I actually think that he's going to say something to do with S.H.I.E.L.D. Maybe he was working for S.H.I.E.L.D. when Peter Parker first became Ultimate Spider-Man. All these possibilities, there's so many. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below about your thoughts. What do you guys think is going to happen? What do you think he's going to say? Do you think maybe... They are going to get interrupted before Jefferson even says what he's going to say. Like, all of these, there's so many possibilities, guys. But either way, we're going to have to wait another month to find out. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. I'm going to give this issue an 8 out of 10. I don't know whether you guys have seen it yet, but I did actually post a preview for Miles Morales The Ultimate Spider-Man issue 11 on my Facebook page. And it actually shows Doctor Doom returning in the ultimate spider-man comic so go over there and check that out it's actually pretty interesting and yeah if you haven't yet go over and hit the like button on my facebook page don't forget to hit the like button on this video don't forget to follow me on twitter and of course don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video